I want to get into four individual case studies here and, and share uh, an individual result from each. So we had a, a, beta, a beta tester, Stephanie, and she is a uh, entrepreneur and a ghostwriter. And uh, not only did she um, heal the entrepreneurial PTSD from, from a failed startup that was definitely affecting her energy, but she secured new book deals and formed a dream collaboration on a business level, on, on a creative business level of, of her passion. And the psoriasis outbreaks that she had since lockdown and COVID. So we're talking maybe close to two or three years. Those went away. And she has been trying everything uh, between then and now. And after about one or two months um, with this new operating system, that skin pigmentation returned to normal. And uh, we got a very clear healing uh, health um, confirmation there, which is phenomenal. Then we had uh, Mark, who is a uh, a creative podcaster. And when he came in, uh, he was just kind of broaching starting a podcast and hitting the the procrastination walls and you know the start stop dynamic and overthinking some things and once we delivered the operating system to him and he was able to uh install the switch uh not only did uh some of those emotional inner blocks go away um and helped him open up the energy uh, of his passion and the blocks uh, of fear and negativity that were restricting his passion and creativity. Once those, again, subtracted, the uh, went away, he started to have more communicative abilities. His communication uh, leveled up <laughs> and he was able to reach out and land very high profile individuals uh, for his podcast interviews uh, on, on governmental levels. Um, and that's just wild because he was barely able to reach out to people before. And then he went to actually reaching out and getting on the radar of some of these uh, uh, upper echelon individuals. And so he's off and running with his, his podcast. Um, and then we had Sadie, who came in as a as a as a creative, and she had a funny little ask at the beginning. Uh, we we for our our purposes, our research purposes, we you know ask if there was one thing, you know, at the beginning, one thing uh, that if it was evolved or, or transformed that. Well done, well done. Like that, we we nailed it. And she had a funny one, uh, where she was just like, "Oh, if I could just stop yelling at my children, uh, that would be my game changer." And after getting the operating system, not only did her happiness levels increase, to her saying she's perpetually happy and utterly free, again, not from a maintenance level and not from a only positive level. This is, it's more nuanced than that. Th this is a deeper realization we're talking about of her, her freedom and her operating from more of a love of herself so that even if there are negative emotions, she still knows where that happiness and freedom is as an operating system, uh, to say that and to not feeling like she has to maintain it or keep it propped up, uh, you know, standing on something to, to be happy, conditional. But most importantly, 
she has gone uh, three months, almost four, almost four months without yelling at her kids. And we will still be checking in with her, but that that was a big ask if you can get the the gravity of this because that was she she did not like that about herself and it was not in her quote unquote control and now she's effortlessly not yelling at her children and the relationship is is better because of that and then we have uh lastly uh sangram who just was finishing his uh, master's degree and was feeling, at least when he started, very stressed uh, about that and all the you know things that he had to do. And so it was an interesting uh, case study to see how rapidly and effective this operating system could be. And so he basically just wanted to overcome his lack of confidence and and feel less stressed and and it happened it happened he graduated and not only that we learned about a few weeks in uh about his goals of wanting to kind of get into the wine business he wants to be a winemaker and what ended up happening is once he kind of owned that and uh his passion uh again, was free of the fear and negativity and self-doubt and all the things that would drag that desire down to the mud. All that was gone. And he was like, oh yeah, I want to be a winemaker and not, and feeling very supported in himself from that rather than, eh, eh, eh. and he ended up uh, during the course of his beta getting connected with a Michelin star chef and the two people here, a Michelin star chef and a prominent winemaker uh, for collaboration um, and, and guidance for someone like him at the early stages of, of wanting to start a wine business. And these were dream relationships for him. It was exactly what he needs at the stage of his idea and dream and vision. And he was able to connect uh, in flow uh, of his life uh, without trying uh, with these people. And now he's off and running, designing his business plan and getting all the advice and, and doing that. So I hope I've, I've captured the gravity of, of what we are finding with this and the, 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 if I just take that step back as the inventor for a second and I take off the founder and CEO hat for a second because I come from perfectionism, procrastination, and a lot of inadequacy when it comes to my ideas. And when this idea started to take shape 10 years ago, I saw the vision. I didn't know what it was, but it was that idea that rose to the top and it never left me since I started. And it took a lot of lone wolfing uh, first and testing on myself. And at that point, I still didn't believe in it. I still thought it wasn't good enough to which started to test it with some people, with some clients early on, early phases and started to get results, but it still wasn't good enough. Until we really, really decided how important this was. And one of my clients, Amber Sheets, who uh, elevated from client to my elite assistant really held 
the fire under my ass to not let this go, to not just move on to something else, to not not focus. And so we focused on it. And the more we focused on it, the clearer it got. And the more landed this vision has become to where it is today, where I can confidently really stand behind these research findings as the inventor and, and really get emotional with how historic this is. It's not just for me anymore. Um, I have given it, given it's been given to the world and the passion company is its steward now. And to, to watch these beta testers come in with what they're coming in with, the states of their own evolution that they start with pre-imagination technology, and to see the changes, more energy, less fatigue, uh, the healing of these chronic conditions and pains, uh, the mental emotional freedom, the, the healing from traumas and, and these difficult life events, the increase in, in self-awareness, the, the, the glimmer in people's eyes when they are operating from that higher level in themselves and that little smirk, the, the empowerment and how little victim is left anymore when they have this new operating system. The elevated inspiration and, and clarity and creativity and passion and the movement from these old mental blocks and their ability to actually focus on what is meaningful for them, their connection to everyone, how more responsible and less reactive they are, the their alignment, their overcoming all those negative feelings of inadequacy and a lack of confidence, their uh, achieving of, of that self-realization and all around coming down to that that freedom, that unconditional freedom that it is the ultimate aim uh, of evolution uh, from a human being perspective, uh, I feel.